The campsite Lime Bay, Tasmania is set in a stunning part of the state and located right next to water and beaches and offers a range of opportunities for bushwalking and water-based activities. Lime Bay State Reserve is a large and attractive 1300 hectare secluded reserve consisting of sheltered beaches and eucalypt plantations at the end of Coal Mines Road, northwest tip of Tasman Peninsula, the home of Port Arthur. Lime Bay Campground is located approximately 110 kilometres southeast of Hobart and the drive will take you around about 1 hour and 40 minutes. However, if you're new to Tasmania, we recommend you take your time and stop to visit some of the towns along the way. Dunelli, for example, is a small fishing town and it's located some 55 kilometres before Lime Bay Campground. It's worth a stop for a coffee and just to have a look around. The main highway to get to Lime Bay is the A9 Arthur Highway. To get to the campground itself, turn off the A9 and take the C341 from Premadina through Saltwater River. There are pretty good signposts, but make sure you continue to follow the road that says Saltwater River. The campground at Lime Bay is suitable for tents and caravans and all range of vehicles in between. However, please note that campsites cannot be booked, so all camping is on a first come, first serve basis. You do not need a National Parks Pass, but camping fees are payable. You will see a camper self-registration system immediately as you enter the park. A family of two adults and two children can camp at Lime Bay for $16 per night. Please make sure you will need to carry cash to pay for your camping fees. The area is patrolled by a ranger to check that fees have been paid and to ensure that all local rules, including strict adherence to fire conditions, are being followed. Penalties apply for non-compliance. The facilities at Lime Bay are basic but very, very good. They include toilets, limited picnic tables and fireplaces. You must carry your own water and firewood and as the area is prone to fire bans at short notice during warmer summer months, a fuel stove is recommended for cooking. There are two beaches close to this campsite, being Lime Bay, which is immediately adjacent to the campsite, and Lagoon Beach, which is on nearby Sloping Island. This site can be reached by an easy walk. Close to the campsite, you will also find what remains of the 1833 coal mines, where convicts housed at Port Arthur were sent for punishment. It is definitely worth your time to take a visit to the coal mines and explore this fascinating part of Tasmania and part of Tasmania's rich colonial history. Please note that dogs are strictly prohibited at Lime Bay Campground. Nearby towns to the Lime Bay campground include Newbina, White Beach, Port Arthur and Eaglehort Neck. The Fortescue Bay campground that marks the end of the Three Capes track is located a relatively short drive away. If you are visiting from interstate, we strongly recommend that as part
part of your camping trip to Tasmania, you include stays at both Lyme Bay and Fortescue Bay. However, please note that Fortescue Bay in particular becomes extremely busy on summer months, Easter, long weekends, school holidays, and increasingly on a lot of weekends due to the increasing popularity of the Three Capes Walk. You must book ahead to stay at Fortescue Bay. Please see our separate video for details on how to book and information on this beautiful campground. Lime Bay Campground also gets very busy over summer, uh, particularly over Christmas, New Year, long weekends and Easter. And noting that you can't book, it is important that you do plan your trip in advance uh, to try and make sure that you get uh, a good spot, as other camping options in the area are limited. We trust that you enjoy camping at Lime Bay Campground on the Tasman Peninsula.